Okay, we've got our John Deere 3020. This is a 1968 model with the front console. Um, we've ran into a couple issues here and there and uh, in trying to get to where we can remove our loader hydraulics from the rear. Um, and we started having problems with some starting and stuff like that, so we decided after looking at the price of the generator and the starter and everything like that, that uh, we were going to change it over to the 12-volt system. This is a 24-volt system. Um, it was the last year that it came factory with the 24-volt system. Um, we've got two batteries, one on each side. And this is our generator here. Um, we have a voltage regulator that's up in here. And uh, basically we're going to swap this all over so that it's a 12-volt system. We're still going to keep both batteries. Um, we cheaped out a little bit on the uh, kit and got some cheaper components. But as you can see, here's the starter here. It's behind this plate. We've got a switch here. And it's an older tractor. It's still a good tractor, though. It runs pretty well, um, with the exception of starting right now. So we're going to go ahead and pull this stuff apart and uh, get to working on it. First thing that we're going to have to do is uh, disconnect the batteries. Uh, but what I want to do first is I want to show you the kit that I got. Um, bear with me, I'm using a GoPro and you can't really tell what I'm looking at here. But this is the kit that we got. As you can see it came with some different uh, negative cables and a few red cables that are crimped on. Not the best um, crimping job there. Uh, not the best battery cables either, honestly, but they'll work. Um, this is a diagram that I remade. We'll need that later. Came with a gauge. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, came with a gauge for voltage. And here's the bracket it came with not really John Deere green um, but it'll suffice for now I've got to repaint the whole tractor eventually anyway but there's the bracket it came with as you can see here's the starter and talking with the company that I bought it from this was supposed to be a direct drive unit um, with a steel nose cone um, as you can see it's not a direct drive you see it comes over if it was direct drive this would be directly in line with this gear here. But it is a redu reduction, gear reduction starter. There's a bunch of different gears in here which can be better. Um, in what I've read, they'll do better in the winter starting the tractor. In the summer it may be a little bit slower. Um, it, it's a cheap starter. I figure it lasts me a year, then uh, we'll be all right. In here is a solenoid, another starter solenoid. Um, it needs a supplemental one. And then we have... Wow, that's crooked. We have the alternator, which is a one-wire GM-style alternator. You can see that there. It's got a V-belt pulley on it. Hopefully we don't have to swap out the pulley. Um, I'm not 100% sure. It says you might have to. If we do, I'm going to have to go home and get my pulley puller and installer. But that's the kit that we have. Um, so the next step we're going to have is to remove the batteries. And because it's a 24 volt system and because there's two batteries, um, there's a little bit of a different way to remove it. We're going to disconnect the left battery and remove it. Uh, and then we're going to disconnect the right battery and remove it. It's the safest way to prevent arcing and sparking and all that good stuff. Um, as you can see, maybe, our battery box, oops, our battery box on the uh, tractor has a little to be desired. It's got a little bit of rust on it. Anyway, if you can see it, 
I've got a bungee holding it shut. Um, it does have one good thing, but the other one on the back is not. So here in a minute, I'll get the tools together that we need to pull off the battery and uh, we'll pull that off and then continue going from there.